So I decided I would uh, come outside and try to answer a few questions that you guys have had about uh, some different features. So uh, first off, working outside works quite nicely to be able to keep my windows pinned here as I walk away, hopefully not looking too much like an idiot and hoping nobody steals my stuff. Apps are staying pretty well pinned there. One actually just disappeared, so maybe a little buggy, but here it is. So nice that I can walk around and have my stuff freely there and then be able just to look outside. So next question is about screen sizes when you're out in the open. So let's go ahead and open a trailer. Even outside, we can see the shadows showing as I move this along. Nice effect. Uh, let's go ahead and find a movie and let's make the screen as big as we can. Okay, let's see what we can do. Well, it is a bit limited actually. So there we go. I can make the screen nice and big here, but it can't go further. I can't make it go, you know, a few hundred feet away. Now, let me get into another setting and make the display bigger. Here we go again with the screen extra large. So between these two trees, we can see it's pretty big. By the way, you know, my monitors stay over there. Now let's take a little walk and see when we turn around if these screens stay just as big. And there we go, that gives you a good feel. So that feels like about a 30 to 40 foot screen. Also, I'm noticing major dynamic lighting effects as we're watching outside, it makes it kind of weird. So here you can really tell it's not about reading surfaces, it's just about overlaying a layer of these colors along the entire environment. And then let's go ahead and take another little walk here and see just how far away I can go while having these screens stay where they are. I'm gonna walk backwards just to make sure nobody steals my stuff. Oh, the Mac screen disappeared, probably because I'm too far away to connect to it virtually. We're about 40 feet away right now. And we can see those other screens, they're kind of pinned, but they, they move around as I move. It's a little bit unnatural. And right now, we're about as far as I wanna go. And you can see those screens will stay pretty well pinned. And as I walk closer, we see the screens almost feel like they're coming back towards me, back in place. And since I, re I disconnected from the Mac, I probably will have to go ahead. Oh, and there we go. It didn't have to reconnect, it just shows up pretty much right where I left it. And then one more thing that I wanted to mention is there are a lot of questions about how big can the screen look? So right here, when it's in front of me, it looks like it's about 20, 30 feet wide. I was saying before, I can't really make it much bigger than that. It doesn't go further, but it's taking up my entire vision for the most part. I don't want the screen to be right here because then I got to look around everywhere. If I look back, this is actually a comfortable view. So if the screen were in my living room, it would feel smaller because my room is a smaller area. But because we're outside, there's bigger things around me, there's a bigger space to fill, it feels like a bigger screen. But at the end, what's the resolution? What's the field of view? And what's the comfort level and how far the screen is away? Those are the real questions I think are worth asking when it comes to watching video and movies in this headset.